So, so like one thing that we see throughout scripture in the narrative of, of how God works with humanity is that he's constantly in the business of trading um, uh, beauty for ashes. He's, he's constantly reconstructing and, and, and building upon what has been broken. Like, you know, it's a, it's almost his pattern of, of, of how he works with humanity. He takes, he takes someone and uh, they, they, they feel as if they're fine and then they get broken and then he blesses them in that brokenness. Yeah. And then he he's able to take that individual and then give him give that person to the to the world to be used by him. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, definitely given enough time, given enough time, God will take you from a place of being wrecked to recovery. And Naomi has lost everything. She's lost her husband. She's lost her two sons. But here she's returning back to um uh, to Bethlehem. And and I just want to read uh, Ruth one verse nineteen to kind of give us where where we're at. Uh, so they both went until they came to Bethlehem. And when they had come to Bethlehem, all the city was stirred because of them. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, and it's very interesting here. Mm-hmm. I think you guys can resonate with this. Everybody's excited for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, the whole town is, it, it literally says everyone was stirred. Um, uh, in the original language, it's a... Uh, that you know about you're a wordsmith uh, onomatopoeia is that, is, that, is that it's an onomatopoeia in the original yeah. language mm-hmm. they said there was a hummum that's a, the Hebrew word is hummum there was a hummum mm. about her yeah. you know there was a buzz going about the um, uh, the city of Bethlehem mm-hmm. about Naomi returning and so what happens is this that all the cities stirred because of them and the women said is this Naomi mm-hmm. and she said to them do not call me Naomi Call me Mara, for the Almighty has dealt bitterly with me. Mm. They're excited yeah. about her return. Yeah. There, there, there's a buzz. There's, a, there's a hum in the city about what's happening in Naomi's life. So, like, you know, Monique, where, where have you been in a situation where everyone else is excited about what God's doing for you, but you're just kind of <laughs> like, man, <laughs> uh, that has yeah. probably hap- happened more often than not. Actually, um, I think because I hold back a lot and I think a lot of people around me see Larisha is a good example yeah. she will be so excited and she's like Mo I'm excited for you and this and that and, yeah. and I'm like eh you know <laughs> and then I see it later but so many times mm. I have just kind of downplayed what God's doing mm-hmm. maybe out of the fear that it's not gonna work out you know right. how I want it to or something but mm-hmm. um, I, I even Ryan like even thinking of that situation mm-hmm. So many like I don't I don't know if I'm a buzzkill or <laughs> uh, which I probably am, but he gets so hyped about so many things and I'm like, calm down, like right. <laughs> like just just chill a little you strain bit. Strain yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm very unemotional, <laughs> I guess, about a lot of things. Mm. So and oh man, even saying it out loud, it's probably not good. But um he gets excited and I'm just <laughs> I'm like, uh eh. Whatever cookies, his yeah. stuff he's doing now, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. his job and yeah. all of it. I'm just, mm-hmm. I'm like, eh, it'll work out. Yeah, I don't have a lot of emotion about a lot of things. Mm. Which do, is, do you think? Do you think that comes from like you know, <clears throat> the disappointments that you've seen in life? And so like you know, I know Jason and I have have talked about this too in the past. Like you know, I just want to be realistic. Yeah, you know, it's like totally. it, it's it's easier for us to be realistic <laughs> yeah, yeah, than to yeah. trust that God's doing something new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? I I probably especially with um, Ryan even tells me my Ryan tells me um, my standards are so high that I'm always disappointed mm. in people, and I think that you probably got it right to where I don't want to be disappointed in life, so I'm just like. I probably won't hold it to a higher standard. Whatever happens is going to happen. Right. If it does, it does. And if it doesn't, eh, I'm still alive. Yeah. Like, Interesting. whatever. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right, right. And I have that about a lot of things, like anything, even cooking. Eh, if it's good, it's good. If not, oh, well, at least we ate. <laughs> and the rest of us are like, this is the best thing yeah, ever. Totally. Yeah. You know, yeah. when are we going to open up the storefront? <laughs> yeah, it's right? true. Mm-hmm. Right. We, we do that. Here's what's happening. God is setting up a comeback. Mm. In the story, he's setting up a comeback. She's back home. Yeah, she's right where she, where, where she belongs. She's in the place of God's provision. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's time for her to heal. Uh, it's time for her to go to the next chapter. But what she's describing is not the next chapter. She's still stuck in the past chapter. Yeah. The 
past chapter is informing her present more than what God is currently trying to move her towards. Mm-hmm. She's in the place where God's like, I, it's like, I want you guys to like, you know, even like picture this. God's like, turn the page and it's like, I'm, I'm ready to write the new part of the story. Mm-hmm. This is the part I've been waiting for the last 10 years, yeah. all your life. This is the part mm-hmm. where everything shifts over to a new uh, narrative, not just for you, because the things that like, and, and we have to oftentimes uh, understand that, that and, and, and this is where, where we, we need to be like really real. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is going to sound so unorthodox, but, oh. but your, yeah. your life, see your life, right. Mm-hmm. is part of the Bible. Mm. Your life is part of the Bible mm-hmm. for Ruth and Naomi. This was just everyday life. They did not see David, King David, coming through their line. Mm-hmm. They did not see Christ being birthed through that line. They did not see the big wow. picture no. of God working something. To them, it was just like, it's just little old me doing my little thing. And so, like, you know, when, when you get to that place where, like, you're a little insignificant part of your life in 2020, dealing with COVID-19 and, and the riots and the, everything that's happening around the world, it's just you doing your life, but you are part of a pivotal pivotal. Yeah aspect of God's larger plan mm. and he's writing something and, and your part of your story is a beautiful part of that. Nah.